Welcome back and hello if you are new and thank you so much for tuning in. Now, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, I'm a massive fan of Download Festival. I've been to the festival so many different times and seen so many fantastic lineups. So without further ado, here are the bands that I will definitely make sure I'm seeing at Download. Performing Hysteria in its entirety, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I've seen Def Leppard at Download before and they do not disappoint. And particularly when you've had a couple of beers in the afternoon, moving into the evening, it'll be perfect and it's a fantastic way to kick the festival off. Definitely one to not miss out on is Neobla Viscaris. I have loved this band for a very, very long time. They're very dear to me, and it's fantastic to see them finally get a spot at download. I feel that Neo Bliviscaris' sound is really unique, and that a platform like Download will be able to kind of really spread them into the mainstream audience, which they really deserve. This is actually going to be, and I'm very ashamed to admit this, my first ever time seeing Conjurer, and I cannot wait. They're one of the bands I'm probably the most excited to see. They've toured their ass off recently in support of Maya, which is an amazing album. Everyone knows that. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to actually finally see these guys play and really decimate everything. Now, recently Opeth announced their brand new album, In Calda Venom, and it's going to be interesting to see, maybe they might debut a new song, it would be a good place to start, download, I don't know, maybe? <laughs> Let's try and convince them. But um, yeah, Opeth is one of my all-time favourite bands, they can do no wrong in my mind, I loved the change that they did from Heritage, which led on to Pale Communion and Sorceress and all this sort of stuff, and they're always brilliant live, you, you, you can't really miss them. <laughs> Then of course you've got Swedish legends at the gates, at the gates are the masters of the riff and I will make sure that I can try and catch at least some of them because I really do want to see Def Leppard. Then we move on to Saturday and Saturday is massive, massive main stage here. So we've got Behemoth. Um, I miss them on their I Loved You At Your Darkest tour, so I will definitely be making sure that I see those guys. I think given the fact they're going to have a platform like the main stage, it's going to be absolutely massive and, and really one of the highlights of the weekend. However, with that in mind, just before them is Power Trip, and Power Trip are insane. And I saw them previously at another festival and they just absolutely leveled everything. So to be able to see them, like I said, you know, get that platform that download allows to really get into so many people's faces and ears is gonna be massive for Power Trip and I can't wait to see them smash it. Of course I wouldn't be a death metal fan without saying I want to go see Carcass. So Carcass are headlining the Dogtooth stage on Saturday and I cannot wait. I'm so excited to see them, I think it's going to be a fantastic show. You've killed the Satan man. So Slipknot is going to be really interesting, they've just premiered their new song Unsainted and announced their brand new album We Are Not Your Kind, so maybe we might get another song? I don't know, the album's coming in August? Maybe, who knows? But either way, Slipknot never ever disappoint on a live front, and I've seen Slipknot a, a lot now, but you can never miss them. They're such a fantastic band, and really the perfect Saturday band.
Animals as Leaders as well will be playing the Avalanche stage and they're celebrating the 10 year anniversary of their self-titled record, which still to this day, I have no idea how Toast in Abassi plays. It's absolutely amazing. I love that album and I really think it was kind of like a paradigm shift in terms of gent, and I know it's a dirty word, but how, how that kind of came about and this new wave of progressive metal really. And finally we come to Sunday, which is probably my favourite day ever because I will finally get to see Tool. I've never seen Tool. I'm a massive Tool fan. Lateralis is such a good album. Anima, man, 10,000 Days. Even the, the weird bits, you know, where it's just kind of noise or the, the Tesla coils going around. It's incredible. And to be able to see this band live is going to be so, so, so special. But before that, we've got, you know, the likes of Slayer. Yeah. their final ever show. I can't wait to see them, they're gonna be fantastic. I, I was very lucky to see them at Manchester actually with Obituary and Lamb of God um, and Anthrax, but it was, it was such a fantastic show and Slayer never really disappoint. They're always really, really great live. Then of course, Dream Theater, they released Distance Over Time, which is, as I'm sure you guys know, one of my favorite records this year. I think it goes back to the ballsy train of thought styles that they used to employ, um, and really goes back to basics. So that'll be fantastic to see. Lamb of God uh, recently did a reissue of Ashes of the Wake, so who knows, they might do sort of like a commemorative Ashes of the Wake set, but we may get some new material. I don't know, who, who knows? It would be a good place to debut it though, I guess, you know, similar to Opeth. Then on the Dog 2 stage you've got Whitechapel who released The Valley and to see how these songs go over live is going to be really interesting uh, because I think that not only are they great on a studio album but there's so many grooves and so many like bouncy riffs that live it'll just be insane. And of course, that leads me to Amon Amarth as well. So Amon Amarth are a great band. I, I wasn't a massive fan of them actually until I saw them live. And then you really get a feel for what they're like. But of course, these are just a handful of the bands that are playing all over the weekend. And if I could, I'd try and see as many bands as I could. Um, I'll also be doing a couple of interviews and some cool things like that. So look out for them. That would be really interesting. And also, if you're there, come say hi. Um, you know, send me a message on Instagram or tweet me, whatever, and it would be really nice to just kind of hang out. I've got a lot of fond memories with Download, and I'm pretty sure that Download 2019, or well, apart from last year, last year was an absolute disaster, but I'm sure that Download 2019 will be totally different. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, do the usual thing of liking and subscribing if you, if you can, and um, a share is always appreciated. So yeah, I will see you guys in the field and let's grab a beer and hang out. All right, take care friends.